People are not fools. People know when things are not right. And as we go into this final full week of the election, David Cameron has focused all our attentions on what is wrong with the big issue. Our economy is broken. We cannot go on spending four pounds, one of which is borrowed. And that's what the government is doing. Every fourth pound we spend is borrowed. Locally. <laughs> locally, we cannot go on relying on the public sector for 70% of our spend. We cannot go on like that. I offer you two quotes. The state has got too big. A second quote, the Northern Ireland economy is over-reliant on the public sector. Cigarette papers, you cannot get one between the two quotes, but they're from different people. They are from two unionist leaders. The first you'll recognise from the BBC on Friday night, David Cameron, the first leader of a mainstream political party in the United Kingdom in a generation to be pro-union. The second quote was from Peter Robinson, March 2006, Europa Hotel, KPMG management consultant meeting. You can check it out if you so wish. They are the same thing. The difference, and it is a gulf of a difference, is how you fix it. Today, with this manifesto, we lay out the first steps in what will be a 20 to 25 year plan to fix our economy. How refreshing to hear political parties looking beyond the five years of a term and saying a 20 to 25 year plan to fix the economy. Does that sound like cut? Does that like, sound like slash? Does it sound like burn to you? No. It's about build, build, build the private sector. Every new job, every new business that we put into the private sector brings that public sector percentage down without touching the block grant. It comes down from 70 to 69 to 68 and over 20 to 25 years on a long road, we will fix this economy. Not only by building the private sector, but being more diligent about how we spend in the public sector by taking the lead from somebody like Michael Majimsi, who has taken the health service budget and by being more effective and efficient in the way the money is spent, has put £53 million more into frontline services. £53 million with the same money into frontline services. So that's the plan. More efficient publicly, more jobs privately. I cannot speak for the DUP, but I listened to their leader in the leaders' debate on UTV last week. And the big plan seems to be to cross his fingers and hope for a hung parliament. At which point he will, and I use this word because he used it, and I've looked it up in the dictionary, the word is he will exploit the situation. The Oxford English Dictionary says exploit means to take unjust or unfair advantage. Mr. Robinson, you do not exploit your friends. You do not exploit the union. You protect the union and that is your choice. On the 6th of May, you may vote to exploit the union or you may vote to solidify the union by putting conservatives and unionists into the government of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Yeah.